Hey, welcome to Backwoods Florida Adventures. Today, we're out at the uh, State Forest here and we have a brand new product to show you. This is the Enjui X20 off-road e-bike. Now, I've been doing some testing for Enjui for a little while here. I wanted to show you this one today and we'll give you a couple glimpses of the X26, this guy's big brother, in action as well. All right, I'm gonna bring you in close, show you some of the features of it. This has a triple suspension on it. So it has actually three shocks in the rear end. Um, there's two air shocks here that are adjustable. Wish they'd give you a little bit more uh, instructions on how and why you'd wanna adjust them. There's also a center hydraulic shock here. Really helps you soak up those bumps. And of course we have shocks, adjustable fork shocks in the front like uh, most of the other e-bikes we tested this bike is foldable all right we can release this lever here fold the whole thing in half as well as this lever here we'll release the handlebars fold the handlebars down very easy and that is a believe me when i was putting that together that's pretty sturdy looking lock in there it's a pretty intuitive way that they got lock it together it's got a really bright led Headlight on, I was checking that out last night. A okay, nice leather seat. There is also a seat that goes here. I didn't install it because we're gonna be putting a cargo rack on there. This is the display. It's, this is out of all the e-bikes I've tested. This one probably has the most intuitive uh, and easy to operate um, display of any of them. Uh, and I've tested quite a few. I really like the display on this. Here's your uh, thumb throttle for your manual thing. And of course we got pedal assist. Rider Shimano, um, full derailleur system, eight speed on this guy's front and rear hydraulic disc brakes. Does a pretty good job. Our main battery is here and it fits down this frame tube. And we also have a backup battery inside the front frame rail here. And some of the improvements they've done with this X20 over the uh, X26 is they put a charging port access on the outside here so you don't have to fold the bike take the battery out to charge it anymore. Also the thing I like is they changed this plug here to a straight end plug because if you have to keep that seat, the other one was a right angle plug, and if you have to keep that seat down uh, it kind of hits everything right there. So they did fix that issue. All right, I've had no problems with this in the few test rides that we've done with it so far, but today we're gonna to go out here in the forest and give her a little off-road action. All right, so I went ahead and folded the bike up. It takes two hands. I can't hold the camera and do it at the same time. Now, I don't have my camera person here today with me, but that is the bike in its folded position. You can also loosen this clamp here at the handlebars and swim and swivel that around i just didn't want to lose my adjustment so i didn't do that but you can actually swivel that around and go even come more compact but that'll fit in most of your suv crossover type vehicles while we got it open there's a look at the backup battery contained inside there We're going to start out in normal mood. Bike kickstands up. I like to give it, since there's a little delay in the pedal assist kicking in, I like to give it a little bump on the throttle just to get going. Um, it helps a lot. If you guys haven't had an e-bike before, they're they're pretty heavy. Um, this one's pretty nimble. With a 20-inch tire, it's pretty nimble. But I always give her, first of all, I want to put it in a pedal assist mode so it'll give me some power. All right. So we're headed off just in one, just cruising, and you feel the power kicking in on it. It's going to be dusty. But we're going to get this thing going here. It's a bumpy road. issue that front shock clatter all right we've reached the entrance to the trail area and um, I 
try to circle here and get down into some lower gears on the derailleur. I'll go down on my pedal assist. Alright, we're going to take her in and see how she does on some of these trails. Dial her back a little bit. I'll pedal assist to normal mode. And still I got this clattering front fork. So what I've done, I've gone into my guy app on my phone, selected biking, and I'm going to um, start recording my track. I'm recording now, so there's no chance of us getting lost, but I'm going to put this on since I need a holder for it. I'm going to put it back in a bag. Right, well, this little area here is a little bit of an uphill probably about a 20 degree uphill so I'm gonna go ahead see how it does going up this hill I want to actually kick it back about fourth on the pedals see how it goes start with throttle like nothing ever happened What we're doing today is scouting some places where we're putting some more trail cameras. I'm looking for any kind of a predominant game trails. I want to put them in places where there's not a lot of human activity, so we may have to get off a little bit. This is a pretty steep downhill section. I'm going to go ahead and test the brakes. I'm not going to need no pedals on this, I'm just going to need levers. Large roots. And something we're probably going to have to cross. Okay, we made it over to stream. Now we got a pretty good uphill. Let's see how it does. I wish I had it down a lower gear. But now it wasn't too bad. So we're riding along, we notice this guy crossing the trail. This is your Florida gopher turtle. Tortoise. And if you think the whole turtles are slow, these guys can go pretty fast for a turtle. We won't bother him anymore. Alright, we're back on the Lime Rock Road, so let's go ahead and crank this baby up and see how fast it goes. I've got all the speed limits turned down on it, so. Some of the trails where you can't take vehicles but you can take these bikes we're actually on a horse trail right now and it didn't say we couldn't take a bike it's a little rough i'm glad we got suspension because of the horse tracks and there's some pretty woods back here and i just found a great place to put a trail cam let's see come back and see what lives in here that doesn't get a lot of exposure to people the forest rangers and horse every now and then. I see a lot of places where turkeys have been crashing and dusting. It was hot. But I found a great trail cam location. I would have, I would have been a, a real hike coming in here on foot. But e-bike makes it easy and that's why I'm bringing you all this content. And 
doing these reviews on these bikes. We're trying to find the best ones. Recommend to y'all. And I really like this one. If they could just figure out this clacking front fork system on this thing and get rid of that noise. It just scares everything as you come along. Otherwise, these things are pretty solid. It's a pretty ride through here. We got a water crossing. I'm gonna try to not get stuck. You can climb out. So the X20 and the X series Intui e-bikes all have alloy rims instead of spokes. I really like that. I think they're going to hold up a lot better. You get out here and get a, a stick or something, you know, hung in your spokes, not going to kill you. And um, I'll show you the stats. 22 miles all off-road. Battery remaining. 66 percent so 22 miles off-road and you guys followed along with us there and you seen you know we were we were out there and and you know not you know, we're not out west or something where we're climbing mountains all day but it was some pretty good trails and one horse trail is pretty rough uh from just the horse prints going up and down it um i like everything about this bike so far except all that noise from that front fork um we'll get with them guys and see uh you know if there's something we can do about it or not but i mean the fork the front fork and front suspension works just fine it just makes a clattering noise constantly as it hits the top of its travel which you know for out here using it for hunting and stuff it's gonna everything out there is gonna hear you coming uh, with that clatter I just wish we could get that corrected everything else about the bike was 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 great it was comfortable to ride I actually did jack the seat back up just a little bit on the way back there and uh, help with the ride comfort again I'm gonna look into adjustment of the rear shock see if I can make that rear suspension just a little softer um, but it's sporty it's easy to handle for someone my age you know going on 60 years old here um, got us around everywhere we needed to go safely it's actually a lot more nimble I think than the uh, x26 just due to the smaller tire size it's easier to maneuver around tight spots um, and I really enjoyed that about it so if you like what you're seeing please smash that like button hey don't forget to subscribe and if you think somebody else would be interested in this video or this particular bike, I want you to see the comments below as well as the description box right down there. We're going to try to leave you a link for some nice discounts on the Injui e-bikes. We'll see you next time.